Sanjay Gupta just can't get out of his shootout hangover. Be it Jung, be it Kante, be it Das Kahaniya, shootout. I think there's this apparently sleek killer shoot police underdog underbelly that's becoming very uh, archaic very predictable and a good filmmaker not that I'm putting Sanjay Gupta seriously into that category must think twice before he comes up with yet another permutation of the cop and the underdog story or the cop and the villain story. We've had so many of them. They're leaking in the archives. How often are we going to find stories about the man who was in poverty, impoverished, becoming a mafia gang, being swayed by uh, the scenario of the time, taking to crime, uh, being shunted and tested by an honest police officer who comes and makes his money at the late, who comes and makes success at a later point in time. Finally, that story peaked in Divar. You're not going to make another one like that. So the idea is, unless you have something very defyingly different, artha satya, or something of that kind, it's a good idea to stop making this kind of cinema. We've had enough and more. We are suffering from a suffeet of that kind of cinema. Mumbai Saga is one such. Mumbai Saga also clashes at the box office with uh, Pinky and Sandy. Uh, both the films, I think, have the same fate, one of total rejection, and rightly so, because neither of them have enough content to keep an audience engaged for the little two hours that the films are made of. John Abraham is one of those initial sufferers of a gang headed by uh, Guy Tonde, who is played by Amol Gupte over the top performance. On the other hand, you have the politician, Bhav Mahesh Manjarekar, more steady, more studied. But I think he's copying a certain character from Bombay, not very difficult to guess. The story takes us to the rechristening of Bombay to Mumbai, but that's no part of the story. It's part of the time when Bombay became Mumbai and nothing more. And the streak of the politician saying Mumbai for Mumbai story. Uh, so we have this politician in uh, Bau, Mahesh Manjareka. You have the Gunda or the gangster in uh, uh, Gai Tonde, Amol Gupte. There's a clash between the two and uh, after uh, a little brother, a sibling of uh, John Abraham, that's Amartya Rao in the film. Interesting name. As Amartya's uh, little brother is thrown down by the goons, he de decides to avenge them, even goes to jail is uh, bailed out, bailed out by Bao Mahesh Manjareka, who obviously has an agenda of his own against uh, Guy Tonde. And so begins the story of uh, John Abraham being a pawn, but an active pawn who suddenly becomes the central piece in the chessboard. He's doing everything. He has a life partner, a wife. We don't even know where she is in all this. In uh, Ms. Kajal Agarwal as Seema Rao. It's not very difficult for John Abraham to play the tough role. He's got that morose look of what consistency, John Abraham. Give him two hours, give him six hours, take his entire filmography, he'll have one expression on his face. That is some, some consistency. It's a consistency that Rahul Dravid would be proud of. So you have John Abraham or Amartya Rao who's on the wrong side of law because he was forced to. And halfway down the film you have uh, the introduction of Vijay Sarvarkar, Imran Hashmi, coming in as the magic catcher. He's the guy whose net is supposed to be perfect. He has a huge sum of money as a carrot for him to pick uh, Amartya Rao. And his uh, parting story just before the interval is what will he do with so much of money? Obviously, Sanjay Gupta, if he had asked himself the same question, 
this film would not have been made. So bad. And then you have the entire post interval is a chase between uh, the inspector and the goon. Very often uh, the goon getting the better of the inspector and then they are just clashes, dust, smoke, uh, buildings being broken, glass pieces all over the place. You want to tidy yourself and go back home and that is how the saga ends. This is an unnecessary saga. I really would not know who looked at a script like this and thought they would make a film out of it. Uh, from Sanjay Gupta who at least used to make films that had something to look forward to in a scene or the other. Nothing is forthcoming here. You have Pratik Babbar in a pathetic role. It is so unfortunate that Pratik does not get films and when he does he gets this kind of a role where he has just got to look blank and does a good job of it. You have people like Anjana Sukhani coming in as the wife of the first victim in the film. The victim in fact the film begins with a businessman being killed that is uh, Samir Soni as uh, Sunil Kaitan. Mrs. Kaitan is played by uh, Sanjana, Anjana Sukhani, one, one and a half, two minute role, but I think she performs even better than Agarwal uh, who has a slightly longer role in the film. Uh, there is Rohit Roy who comes in as Baba who is a part of the gang in the film with uh, John Abraham. If you are wondering why uh, he's agreed to do such a small role, wait till the end. Uh, nothing forthcoming in this movie. You know how, it's, um, you need to be John Abraham to know that Bow is not using him, that he is not a pawn in this battle. The audience knows it, the audience knows what exactly is going to happen. Some minor scenes here and there will tell you that, oh, this too, oh, that, oh, I thought this will happen few minutes later, oh, I thought this had already happened. That is just the difference that you would guess in the film. Mumbai saga is a complete waste of effort, surely a complete waste of time. It is yet another John Abraham film which says this is not the kind of cinema you really want to engage in. Thank you, bye bye and before I go off, thanks to my cinematographer photographer in Datu and editing by Abhidhar. Bye bye.